All right, let's talk about Hezbollah, Lebanon, and Israel. I'm gonna to try to make this as simple as possible. So a friend recently asked me, what is the difference between Hamas and Hezbollah? This is a crucial question, especially with what's happening in Lebanon right now. Both Hamas and Hezbollah are Iranian proxies and they have the same key goal, the total destruction of Israel. Hamas is operating in Gaza, targeting Southern Israel, and Hezbollah is operating in Lebanon, targeting Northern Israel. Both of them use civilian homes to launch their rockets and store their weapons, and they both show a total disregard for human life, whether it's Israeli life or the lives of their own people. But Hezbollah is a different beast. Their fighters are more trained, their weapons are more advanced, and Southern Lebanon is now a heavily fortified base of operations. As we watch this escalation unfold, I want you to understand one really important thing. This is not a conflict between Israel and the Lebanese people. Just like Israel is not at war with the Palestinian people, Israel is defending itself against Hezbollah, a ruthless terrorist army that threatens its very existence. Hezbollah operates independently of the Lebanese government, just like Hamas is independent from the Palestinian people. But these are not rogue militias. They are full-blown terrorist armies. In fact, Hezbollah's military force is larger and more powerful than the Lebanese army itself. And it is believed to be stronger than the armies of most medium-sized European countries. So since October 8th, Hezbollah has fired over 8,000 rockets into Northern Israel. They have killed many, including 12 children on a soccer field. Yet the world barely condemned it or worse, twisted it to somehow blame Israel. Over 100,000 Israelis have been displaced from their homes in the North, and they have been living as refugees in their own country for nearly a year. And this is a crisis that nobody seems to wanna to talk about. And by the way, Northern Israel is literally burning. So while most of the world has been focused on Gaza, Israel has been fighting a war on multiple fronts since the very beginning. With Hezbollah ramping up its attacks on the northern border, the teeny tiny country of Israel is defending itself from murderous terrorists to the south, to the north, and to almost every direction. It is absolutely insane. So why is this happening? It's pretty simple. Hezbollah thrives on chaos and Iran uses them to keep Israel constantly on edge. The most frustrating part is that there is supposed to be a buffer zone between Israel and Lebanon monitored by guess who? The UN. But guess what? UNIFIL has completely failed to enforce it for years. Hezbollah has been building up its arsenal of weapons right under the UN's nose, violating every diplomatic agreement made after Israel withdrew from Lebanon 24 years ago. And now Israel is left with no choice but to respond as always. Israel is doing everything it can to protect civilians on both sides. But no matter how precise their targeting of Hezbollah's military positions, they are still demonized. Just look at last week. Israel conducted the most precise attack ever in combat history, targeting Hezbollah terrorists through their pagers with unbelievable accuracy. But politicians, the UN, and media figures still condemned them. It's as if Israel is simply not allowed to defend itself at all. And you know what I call that? Anti-Semitism, plain and simple. This war is going to have devastating consequences for both Israel and Lebanon. Israel never asked for this war. They never wanted a war on any front. They just want peace with their neighbors. But Hezbollah's unprovoked aggression, like Hamas's, cannot be stopped through diplomacy. This is about survival for Israel. I wanna take a moment to say thank you to our heroic IDF soldiers for protecting Israel and the Jewish people all over the world. You are in my constant prayers.